what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i'm going to be talking about the new Candyman film on this channel for the first time in who knows how long i think the last time i did a Candyman video was late last year right around the time the film kicked into getting into production uh we know that jordan peele is producing this upcoming movie through his monkey paws production production company and we know that he's not directing it but he's one of the co-writers involved with the project uh nia da costa who is our new uh director for this upcoming feature film give her all the credit when it comes to praising the movie you can give jordan peele credit but again jordan peele is not the director i feel like a lot of people are giving him far more credit than what he is deserved of right now he is involved in it and i know talking about jordan peele will get more attention to the film because not too many people are familiar with nia da costa uh or da costa but the film itself is directed by her it's not directed by jordan peele so a lot of people think this is directed by jordan peele it's not <laughs> uh but getting into what i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about how often are we actually going to be seeing tony todd in his role of Candyman in this upcoming feature a lot of people are already a little bit skept skeptical that we won't get to see him that much due to the fact that in the trailer we don't see him quite that much too often we i think the only time we actually see him if that's even him is when our new protagonist anthony mccoy who's played by yaha abdul mateen he's like walking by and he sees he's walking by a car and he looks into the, his own reflection and it's a reflection of the candy man because what's going on in this new film it seems that candy man is this new film that we're getting is taking on like the nightmare on elm street 2 type of approach minus all the homosexual homosexual subtext <laughs> um in present day a decade after the last of the cabrini towers were torn down anthony and his girlfriend move into a loft in the now gentrified Cab cabrini a chance encounter with an old timer exposes anthony to the true story behind Candyman. anxious to use these macabre macabre details in his studio as as fresh gris grits for paintings he unknowingly opens a door to a complex past that unravels his own sanity and unleashes a terrifying wave of violence so already off the bat we have something very similar to the original film in the original film we father virginia virginia madsen in the role of heather lyle who's doing like a thesis on urban legends and she's investigating the urban legend of Candyman in the cabrini green area uh set in chicago and she's trying to she's trying because i haven't watched the original film in a, in a couple of months i believe she's trying she wasn't a believer of it and since she wasn't a believer of it that brings on the wrath of Candyman, who is aware of the fact that she's looking for him and she actually ends up exposing that the Candyman that everyone's talking about in that area is nothing more than just a local like a local thug at the time but the fact that he was acting as Candyman was what was keeping the legend going. And then when she brought that down, that's what brought on the wrath of Candyman to then make her believe that he is actually real. And then, of course, we know the mythos of Candyman and the racial subtext or undertones to it. How Candyman was the son of a slave who became wealthy during the time of the Civil War due to like mass production of shoes, I believe. Uh, he, came, he became very wealthy during the time of the Civil War and his son who like again is candy man he became he grew up in just the wealthier parts of life he had he had other advantages that other blacks didn't have at the time and he grew up to become, become a painter he was a well-recognized painter in the area and he was commissioned to i believe do a painting for the daughter of a white man and during this time i'm assuming if i'm remembering correctly he falls in love he falls in love with the daughter of this white man and the white man finds out about this and he sends a mob after the candy man and this lynch mob chases him they cut his hand off they beat him i believe they uh set bees on him who just eat away at his carcass until he's till they sting him to death and now he's a vengeful spirit who is just very vengeful and he he he's a he's a perfect example of things that are going on in america today and i've that's why i'm kind of excited for this film he was portrayed by tony todd uh he was a black man who was wrongfully killed just for the sake of him wanting to be with a white woman 
Um, Tony Todd was very amazing in that role as Candyman in the original 1992 film. And I know he's going to be in this in this sequel because this is a sequel to that original film. They're ignoring the two other sequels that we got, which are absolute mediocre at best, in my opinion. The third one is almost borderline complete trash, I would say. Uh, we know we have Tony Todd back in this film. He's expected to be reprising his role as Candyman, but we see him nowhere in the trailer. So that brings up the question, how often are we going to actually see him in this movie? Now, in the original film, we don't see him quite that often until halfway through. The original film went with the less is more approach, but I feel like what is throwing a lot of people off is that we know Candyman and what he looks like. We know Tony Todd is Candyman, and a lot of people are wanting to go into this new one a bit skeptical because it looks like Tony Todd isn't really going to be shown too much in the film. He probably won't even be shown at all. We'll just have glimpses of him, kind of like that reflection I, that I was mentioning that we all know we saw in the trailer. We'll be having characters possibly have flashes of him. We'll possibly see like quick flashes of him, CGI flashes of him, hearing his voice, if he is utilizing his voice, uh, if that's his voice that we hear in the trailer, which it, it's, if that's him, they've done a lot of editing to his voice. Uh, and we know that from all the details that have come out that Yaha Abdul, who is playing Anthony, Mc Anthony McCoy, he was reports came out that he was casted to, to be the new Candyman. now also based off of those reports we know that anthony mccoy shares a very similar name to the baby from the original film that the Candyman had abducted when he was trying to frame helen and making this is making everyone around her think she was crazy uh like revenge for her not believing that that he wasn't real and we know that we have another character who is back in this film played by Vanessa Williams and Marie McCoy. And we see Anne Marie McCoy in this trailer talking to Yaha Abdul's character who is Anthony McCoy. Anthony McCoy in this new Candyman film is 100% that baby from the first movie. All grown up and now he's he has very similar traits that um, the Candyman, Tony Todd's character has. He's now a painter. He is going to be going into the mythos of Candyman, similar to how the woman who sacrificed herself, he uh, Helen Lyle, back in the back a couple back many years ago when he was a baby, the woman who sacrificed himself. He's going to be following in her footsteps, going to be going looking for Candyman, and then he's going to get more than what he wanted because it looks like Candyman is going to be possessing him and making him act out and do do his bidding. We don't see too many glimpses of Candyman Tony Todd at all whatsoever in this trailer. So it's quite possible that they're going with the less is more approach. And the whole idea here is we're going to be seeing a passing of the torch type of deal. When we finally do see him, it's probably going to be for a split second. Because there's a scene in the in the trailer where it looks like he, uh, Yaha Abdul's character, Anthony, it looks like he's getting his hand cut off. That might be the scene, the only scene where we see Tony Todd in the flesh as Candyman even then we probably might just be getting shots of Tony Todd who was in the movie from the waist down because Tony Todd is 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 much older now we might not actually see him full 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 image wise full body on screen as Candyman we might just be getting teases and glimpses of him just because of the fact that he does not look the same of course you can CGI some youth onto him but he does not look the same. I don't think we're going to see Tony Todd in this role of Candyman in this new upcoming sequel that much. I think they're going with the less is more approach. And we'll just be having a movie following uh, Anthony McCoy. And we'll just be getting minor glimpses of Tony Todd. We won't see him in a large capacity. Similar to the original movie. Because we didn't see him that much in the original movie until like halfway through. Uh so I know a lot of people are not going to be looking forward to that, but I'm just giving my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.